Okay, good morning. Welcome to Super Math Number Eight. Super Math Number Eight. So we've been um, printing out some interesting shapes. Can you show what what this shape does? These it's a are, folding cube. These are uh, shapes that Laura Tallman made, and it folds up. And I thought these would, would be fun. And we have a. Um, Things inside it. We have a uh, what is that called? A dodecahedron. We have a dodecahedron too. And we're printing a tetrahedron. We're printing a tetrahedron. I thought it'd be fun to do try to do a 3D angle measurement. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to measure the angle not of the faces of a tetrahedron because what are the angles in the faces of a tetrahedron? They're 60 because the, the faces are all equilateral triangles. Right. What we're instead going to try to do is measure the angle between the faces. So if I, if I take apart this tetrahedron just a little bit, what we're trying to measure is this angle here between these faces. So it comes down there, like you could say from the ball to the center of that side and then up from the center of that side to the other ball. Now we tried to make a zone tool tetrahedron that would help us measure this angle and I, I don't know if it's possible and we just did it wrong or it's not possible with zone tool. But we've got to find some way to measure this angle here. So how are we going to do that? First, where's your, where did the protractor go? Kind of got lost in the zone tool stuff. It's right, right under there. Okay. So what are we going to do? How are we going to measure this? Well, it's this angle. It goes down, then it comes up. Okay. It looks like it could, it looks like it might be 60, but we don't know for sure. It looks like it could be 60, but it, it's hard to tell. And what, what angle do we need to measure? Well, the angle, it comes down and goes up. Okay. Maybe bring that pencil over. Okay, so we got an angle that comes across like this, and it's not going to be quite right because I won't have it at the right height, and goes up like that. So we could just try to measure it. Okay, go ahead. It's not going to be exact. It's not going to be exact, but that's fine. Well, I need to get Sorry, it I'm going to get my fingers out of the way. Right on the pencil. Okay, get it right on the pencil and make, try to get it balanced as best you can. Tough. It's tough to measure angles yeah. in three dimensions. I'm getting above 70, close to 75. He's okay, between 70 and 75? All right, that's probably about as good as we can do. <clears throat> and it's tricky. It's tricky to measure, you know, three-dimensional objects, or angles in three-dimensional objects. But the neat thing is, even though you could see it was between 70 and 75, that tells you it's definitely not 60. Yeah, which right? is a surprise. Which is a surprise. It kind of looks like this angle here in there is the same as the angle of the triangles, but when we measure it, it's not. it looks like it's bigger than that, which is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Alright, good job this morning, hon. Good job.